Hi, hello, thank you for clicking and thank you for joining me this morning. Uh, today I want to talk to you about Philippians 4, 6, about being anxious for nothing, okay? And us Americans, we are so anxious about everything. And uh, this morning I want to encourage you and tell you not to worry. God has your back. Now, on uh, Matthew 6, 34, it says, Therefore do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about its own things sufficient for the day is our trouble amen so today whatever you're facing that is enough for today don't worry about tomorrow and uh, just be encouraged that as long as you go to god in prayer as long as you're going to father and your daily routine as uh, you know we all have schedules so i recommend you create a schedule for prayer time uh, which you can also call your own meditation time and pray pray as develop that relationship and get, uh, come with to him with thanksgiving and approach him in a way that that you can unburden your load unto him and uh, father that's what he wants he wants you to come to him seek him out and pray and have that communion with him and he wants you to be anxious for nothing okay i'm gonna read um, a scripture to you and it's on philippians 4 6 and it says be anxious for nothing but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving let your results be known to god and uh, that's what i'm telling you today let your supplications be known to god come to him uh he wants to be there for you you know that was god's biggest uh i guess you can say complaint <laughs> you know in the old testament he wanted to be there for the israelites he wanted to be there for the people but they were so stiff-necked, you know, they were so stubborn and, and rebellious and, and they kept doing what they wanted and they didn't listen to God and God would get mad at them and then he would zap them. <laughs> Technically, that's what he did. He zapped them, you know, he punished them because they did not trust him. They did not call out to him. And we're under God's grace, you know, because of Jesus. He died on the cross for us and now we're under a new covenant of Jesus Christ. And uh, so I just want to encourage you with that scripture in Philippians 4, 6. Don't worry or don't be anxious for anything. Just come to God. Come to the Lord and he will help you. Trust him. Have faith and reach out to him. And I know there's a scripture here that I want to read to you. And, um, and it's in Philippians 4, 9. It says, whatever you have learned or received or heard from me, or seen in me, put into practice, and the God of peace will be with you. You see, the Bible was given to us for a reason. It was given to us so that we can learn, and then we can practice what the Word of God is teaching. And the Word of God unto our Father, that we are to go to our Father in prayer, seek His face, because, because Jesus is our High Priest, right? So when we pray to God, we close it in the name of Jesus since he is our high priest. He represents us in the throne of God, you know, and um, he is between you and the time we pray. God hears us because Jesus is our high priest and he's interceding us. So don't worry. You just trust God, have faith in him, pray and seek his face and God will take your burdens. He will hear you and he will take action so that his peace will be upon us all right so i'm going to let you go with that you be blessed and um i'll be talking to you later bye bye